wadau mwaka wa 1990s kuna kijana aliweza kuzaliwa pale na Akuru County mahali kunaitwa Subukia Aya uh, yote mwiko inaitwa na account ilikuwa inaitwa Rift Valley Region. Huyu kijana after 10 years, 20 years alikuja kukua big man in this industry na akakuwa na produce like content after content huyu jamaa alikuja kukua a big deal in Mugithi explosion. Huyu jamaa is none other than Franco Wasubu. Lakini but 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 na job na uliza but nani. Lakini Acha tuangalie story yake leo. Timo ya alikuwa kwa kiti kuliweza kuzaliwa watu wengi sana which iko sawa uh, and around 1990 in Nakuru County hiyo ilikuwa anga Rift Valley province during the time ya mkoloni in Nakuru County there somewhere somewhere called Subukia of course mmejisikia Subukia njoo imekuwa ikitajwa na wasanii wengi sana wengi sana ambao wali wameweza ku make record in Mugithi history and in uh, 1990s kuliweza kuzaliwa kijana mmoja alikuwa anaitwa Mwangi this man amekuja kwa familia ya um, like 5 to 6 7 people hapo and uh, they require the second last kama sasa kosea and the man used to make um alisomea pale subukia akaenda shule hapo and kila kitu was fine until they were maliza shule akaamua kukuja hapa kukuja kuingia kwa kuole anze kuchonga mawe na ile ile andarubo ile ya kukata andarubo this man was making some plates those plates i understand mnajua zile zile plates zile plates zenye 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 zinajenga manyumba ya nini lakini yako anakata zile za za machine she used to to chop to chop those stone which using in Sumarina, in Sumarina, Nanini. But sorry for a change of location, guys. And Marini gonna shoot ya kume change in So, Nimacha Nikisema, there is something called talent. Liwa diwaro, kila kitu ifanyike, hama everything ifanyike, there is something called talent. Then, talent in a fanyika, talent in a kwanga in build. So, we will say, Umse anachonga mawe pale tunamuita Mwangi. Huyu jamaa tunamuita Mwangi. Eh, huyu jamaa tunampea jina ya Mwangi. So, time ali chonga mawe, anachonga mawe, everything changed. Mtu mmoja akamwambia, "Toka gishagi. Toka na akuru. Wewe unafanya nini gishagi wewe? Unafanya nini gishagi? Toka gishagi bana. Kwa nini utazekea gishagi?" Akatoka gishagi, akaweza kukuja hapa Nairobi. Kufika hapa na Arobi, akapewa kazi ya electronics. And that's why, unasikianga, uh, ujua ki destiny yako iko wapi. Eh? Baka sikuenye, utafika, mahali, ujilikognize, ujijua we mwenyewe. So, unja maa, akakuja, akapewa kazi ya electronics. And that's how, this man, this man, tunongerele hapa, tunamuita mwangi, alieza kukaa, jiji, unatui inaitango jiji, jiji, Jiji ya wa, wajanja. Jiji ya wajanja. Hivi ndivyo unja maa. Alieza kukuja. Na. Na haka make it. Kuingia kwa music industry. Lakini before I fike music industry. Alipitia wapi. After amekuja akapewa kazi electronics. Ali make. Alijaribu kukuja. Na haka. 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 Haka sema. Siku moja alisemanga. On the way kwa kazi, kuna marikulikuanga na vitu zilikuwa zina wafoswa hende kwa police station. So, 
Yule police station alikuwa mvishte yake. Alafu ilikuwa nest hapo. Wali alikuwa nafanya kazi. Siji nika ni kamkunchi wapi ni antikieni hapo kwa comment site. Kama uli ochi. Mm-hmm. So, time wali kujanga. Uyu uh, mvishte yake. Uyu askari ya kanza kukua mvishte yake. Pole. Kukua mvishte yake ya kakua na zapitia pale kolon. Tiloleti ya kimsalimia. Nini, nini. Until. Then you jamari notice a kona talent. A kanza kukomposi wimbo. Moja kwa moja. Moja, moja. And that's the how. This very man alikuja na album yenye inaitwa Wendo wa OCS. That's how the man come alikuja na hiyo wimbo ya OCS. This officer was alikuwa anapitia hapo ndiri 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 akinsalimia mpaka akakuwa bestia. So at the time alikuwa na compose nyimbo zake. So hiyo kupitiana hiyo kuongea that's how this man managed. Ali managed kukuja na album inaitwa Wendo wa OCS. Hayo pome, yani hakuna mtu hajasikiza hiyo album. Tuongeeni kweli. Hakuna mtu anaelewa Mugidi Explosion. Mtu mwenye anajua Mugidi ni nini? Anajua mali wimbo ya Wendo wa OCS iliweza kutokea. Eh? Mnaelewa? Eh, <laughs> hiyo uh, wimbo ma hapo ndio iliweza kutokea and this man akaingia kwa internet. Eh? We full force of the law. This is the full force. This man ya ringiana full force. Design ya nyea. When you are kwa your system ni akina de Mathio, akina um, Kamaru alikuwa na emba. Watu egi akina Musaimo. Eh, tukirundi rundi nyuma akina katutula wako wa meanza. Akina, um, akina kuna Musaimo, kuna akina de Mathio, kuna Pita Kigia, kuna akina. Kini jeni alikufa kitamba, kuna akina anjo isi wa mama walikuwa na emba. Akina njonjagi walikuwa na emba. And he managed to make it through. And he managed to make it through those guys. Akakuani, the most loved and the most handsome. The only days were going to be in music industry. Eh? The movie, the explosion. Then you jama, your album will be and do like, like shit. Siju ini nini. Then you mungu wakia mwagu tengenezea njia mtu wangu. Mtapeda. Eh? Mtapeda. So, uh, you jama, aka akakuwa eh uh, so kila mtu anamuita show pale show pale wewe chukua hii kuna 50k kuna nini hapa kuna masho hapa kuna masho hapa na hiyo ndio jamaa remake it akaachili album ya kwanza ai jamaa shikiki bana ndio hiyo ndio hiyo akauza hiyo album sijui ali manage kuuza kwa pengapi but he manage to make a name Trend a name, na kutengeneza pace of that music. Oh, na jisema nini. Ehem. After hapo wakakuja 2013, haka ma, jamaa alita alikuwa me, anakaa pesa bana, haka mnenji kutuwa alba mwine hituwa, Andija. Nani ya jasikiza Andija? Simuniza nini nyingi, tuliza mboli Andija. Nani ya jasikiza Andija wadau? Wadau, nani ya jasikiza Andija? This man ya litoi alba, eh, ya nyirikuwa na hile mbo ya... Um, Yani ni, yani jamaa, he made it through. Ni hivyo jamaa, divyo jamaa, alienza kupenya kwa industry kabisa. Kutuwa ndija, ika kuwa ni kuwa sasa. Kumaliza, maliza industry sasa. Maliza, kwa ni iko nini? Kwa ni iko nini? Kwa ni iko nini? Maliza. So, that's how this man managed kuingia sasa completely kwa industry through your album ingida alitoa ndija. Onja maa, uliko na msikia kwa meru leo, na msikia kwa kesho mombasa, kwa hapa mudhika, kwa kikuyu leo, kwa dhika, mbaka jamaa kakua, katoka na akuru, sasa ikakua ta naishi na familia yake hapa. And that's how the man alikuwa na, alikuja kujulikana, none the other, Franco Wasugu. Hmm? Franco Wasu, Wasugu, ah, awatu wa mandeke na magari bana, awatu wachi, awatu wachi bana, Take it to bring content, Mazi. And you can see this is the first episode of the uh, Lost in the Fame. Lost in Fame, yeah. Lost in Fame, Mazi. We need support to push it to get the bad. To pick it to support all we need is your support to move forward, Mazi. I know we are going far. Is that we are going far with this thing? So, Tukakuja kwa, um, after 2013, this man became unstoppable. 
unstoppable. Jamaa akaoa kaza tototo tui. Wili. Jamaa alikuja akatoa album zingine kwa dia California. Kwa dia California ndo get a for a week. The, that song was so epic man. Ah, that song was so ah, Oh the California man. This man had managed to talk like five albums within a period of 10 years. Then he zilikuwa moto mtu wangu. Moto. Moto. Hmm? Moto. So, akatoa hizo. And then, kufika album ya... Ya album ya tatu hapo, uh, unja ma, wano alikuwa na wika. But, but, naju uneza zuleza, but, na kujia wapi. But, Kaa vizuri ni kupiga story mtu wangu. Then jamaa alipata fame. Alisahau vijana wengine wanatokea hapa nje wenye watakuja wampita kwa music industry na wakuwe bigger than him. Hiyo ni kitu inawapenda hadi na this. That au huyu jamaa akaanza ku crop pole pole. So this is the downfall. Tunakopea vyenye alilese lakini this is the downfall of Franco Astu. Huyu jamaa alitoa album tatu akapumzika, akatulia, akasema pesa iko, film iko, but tukienda pole pole hakuna nguvu, hakuna ngoli. Mhm. Huyu jamaa akaanza kushika na vitu zingine zinaitwa piracy. Akasema piracy iko too high ndi sign yenyewe hata kumanage kutoa wimbo ni ni goli, ni goli. But nikajiuliza hao watu wengine wote walikuwa wanatoa nyimbo, hao kwa na piracy, piracy imeishi. Like that's why the government of Kenya is trying to fight by piracy every day because hiyo inadio na maliza wasanii wengi so this is man akaanza ku collapse akaanza kuishika huo jamaa akakuwa nyimbo hawezi toa sasa eh sijui nini nichangia anga lakini ikakuwa jamaa hawezi toa nyimbo vya nyali kwa natoa kitambo akaanza sasa kushuka but before ashuke kabisa aliweza ku manage kutoa albamu ya mwisho ile iko na nyimbo kama bakori bakori ya hiki inaitangwa the hard bakori bakori ya ile iko na wimbo iki yo ya jike ya hiyo na ile ya gedhano maybe hiyo album kama itangu gedhano ilitoa bakori bakori because that song was so epic this jamaa is super talented so this man ali maintain na akatoa hiyo album ya mwisho yenye inaitwa bakori bakori and I'll just kwa youtube yangalia iko bakori bakori ya hiki kwa gera beseni beseni ya hiki kwa nyola ali manage kutoa hiyo album ni unasema nini but kutoka hapo jamaa kaenda mwisho kabisa stika hiyo pesa imulipa akanyamaza wasubu wenye tulikuwa tunajua akapotea hmm? kila kitu ikapotea wasubu akapotea wasubu akaisha na ondes wasubu hivyo ndivyo ali collapsingi akasahau kuna vijana akina Joska Tutura akina Samindo akina Kadewa Njeri wana tokea mbio and they are coming fast akasahau the more watu wanakacha tension za watu wengine hivyo ndivyo unabaki kwa mata mtu wangu ukikataa kukua constituency kwa industry hivyo ndivyo unabaki kwa mata so <laughs> after me fanyo yote nimekwambia ndo mfo yake hivyo ndivyo aliishinge akanyamaza akaenda nje kabisa akakuja akatoa wimbo mmoja inaitwa Diagoria of course fans walikubali vizuri sana na hivyo ndivyo alianza kumwanda tena akatoa wimbo mwingine inaitwa Mindi Modhaka iko sawa akaitoa but kutoka hapo kutoka 2021 mpaka 2023 tunaenda kumaliza ametoa wimbo gani hakuna that is how the man are for go for goten so you can be a generation for wasubu ni nani hawajui wasubu ni nani That's how the system works. This is the downfall of this man called Wasubu. Even if he had ended chini na kasaurika. Anatoa wimbo moja, anagonga miaka 2. Anatoa wimbo moja, anagonga miaka 2. Sasa hii generation ni juu Wasubu na Ali. Sasa hii mimi nikisikia nyimbo na Sasa Wasubu nasikia anga nasikiza peke yangu. Yeah. Hivyo ndio janja mali yenda. Lakini guys, tell the hardest in this video what they need to manage their fame. Fame ni shaka kwa Mm. Wasubu, we need your pack. Mm. So that's the end of the story, manze. You come in mekua left sana, manze. Nisameheni. The next time itakua tam, tunapulei kila siku, manze. I love you.
One subscriber hapo chini na wapenda gure manze. I love you guys manze. Subscribe. See you on the next video.